Hello and welcome to another painting video. Today we are going to be painting our Battle Master uh, for our Battletech uh, army. If you remember our paint scheme, we're going for something like this. Um, so let's kind of play around and figure out how to get there on this guy. So we've got our Blood Angels Red contrast paint, is which we start with. So let's go and start picking out areas that we want to be red. So definitely above the canopy here, this is a good candidate for the red as well as like most of this area right here. So let's just get in there. I wanted my Battletech Mech Warrior army to be full of big imposing mechs. So that's why I chose the Battle Master. He looks and he just looks really cool. So let's just continue around the model to find areas here. Stay away from the missile launcher for now. See that it's weird. I've, I noticed this on this models. So probably, you probably have to wash them, uh, like with soap and water, before you paint them. Would probably be a good. Actually, that's not true because the the primer sticks good. So, but it'll hit these areas and it'll just put, kind of pull away from itself. I've been noticing that. So let's just get kind of in here, down here. And remember, our secondary color is black, so whatever we kind of hit here, we can go over with the black. It's not a big deal. So we're just kind of being a little bit liberal with our paint right now, but we can fix that later. So the back, I feel like the backs are easier to kind of start with because then you can kind of figure it out later from, from there. So I'll leave the front plate here. There's like a little square here. We'll leave that to be black, but we'll get here, here, along the front of the canopy here. We'll probably paint this inside piece a different color as well too. So let's just kind of fill out the rest of the, the body here. Oops, sorry about that. Still not 100% used to this camera being in this location yet. Okay, let's see. I should probably just paint that there while it's there. Okay. And then top, underneath here. Now we gotta get the rest of the canopy, so bear with me while I kinda squish this down on my mat here and try my best. Not to make a complete mess, but as you can see, I am not successful at that. I'll just, just hit it at this point. Okay. Oh, and we gotta get the front here too. So let's just paint it like that and we'll hit it with the, we do our glass later. So here on here, I just wanna do a little square here that I want to hit and then I want to get the entire outside of this, the little little rim of the missile missile launcher here. Rocket pod, the missile launcher, whatever it is. There's a little square spot there. Okay, arms. They're usually all red, but 
since we have a lot of red going into there, I think we're gonna go, we'll split it in half. So we'll go red here and leave the upper half black. Same thing on this side. Don't be afraid to go asymmetrical too. Like I could have gone red on the top on this side and then on the bottom on the other side. You can do that too. That's like a cool, it's a way to add visual interest, especially since these guys are mostly just like a couple colors. Now the arms, let's go. They look like they're mostly red. I'm looking at my I'm looking at my griffin. Um, so let's just go red here. Leave those joints open because we'll be painting those black. And then red here. It's mostly just the big plating that we want to paint the red. So we'll leave that top part open because I don't know if it's another weapon it might be like a laser or something who knows so one thing is it's really hard to kind of for me I'm not like super duper into this mech warrior like the lore and stuff because I know like there's a lot like to be there and what the weapons are and what they do and you know, I just don't know them all right now. So let's get this. All red right here. It's looking like Optimus Prime. Okay, and then mostly everything below is now all black. So, let's go to our black now. Let me just grab my griffin here. Let's see what we did. Hmm. Okay, okay, so the canopies are usually black, so maybe I can go back in there. All right, so let's get our Black gray is what we use. And then we'll pick out some armor spots, some of this this plating here. This like little chest grill and I missed all of this with the red why didn't you guys tell me when I was doing it you guys what do I pay you for I told you guys it does sometimes. There we go. Make sure it's closed, okay. And then we get here. It's a little thin right now. joint as well. As well as the back of this rocket launcher. Inside here, got to be careful inside those little tight areas. And then let's see if we can get this we can do about this canopy here. Let's just kind of 
go over this with the black. It's gonna look a little messy right now, but it's the only way to really get it. So bear with me for one second here. We'll just kind of paint over the entire cockpit area. Okay, so that'll work. And then go into there. Same thing here, get the joints and all of that. areas over there and you're probably wondering why I'm not painting some of this I mean it's been a while since I've done a Battletech video but the guns for the guns I use actual black paint instead of black gray just to give a little bit more of a separation between everything it's not super necessary of a step but kind of one that I've incorporated into the painting process for this army. Um, you know, just to switch it up. It's, it's, like I said, it's mostly just one color, so to give it other colors, you know, helps keep your sanity as well as, like, build better visual interest with your model. You can also do things like edge highlighting and stuff too, but we have not done that. Because remember, we're about being fast and pretty efficient so that when someone asks you to play a game, you're ready to go. Um, you know, it's like, it's, it's probably what most people would consider like an 80% paid job, right? It's up to you if you want to bring it to the, the rest of the 20%. Um, but for some, most people, you're fine to just live in this little 80% area because um, it does pretty well. I mean, I mean, if you were watching this long, <laughs> you've watched other videos and, you know, obviously you're semi interested in it or you just like to listen to me ramble in the background of your work, which that's that's why that works too. Hey, whatever, whatever gets you going. Or if you use me to be like, at least I'm not as bad as that guy. And that works too. Just don't say that on the thing, on the comments. <laughs> Let's get... This guy there. Same thing about right there. He's got one on this side too. Okay, we have we only, we have one more guy to paint in our BattleTech series, and that'll be my entire that'll be my BattleTech army that I'm using. It's only four models. Um, I think it's a Crusader. I don't know its name off the top of my head completely. So if it's not a Crusader, don't blame me. And it's gonna be, it'll be a while before you see that one probably. Um, just because I have a lineup of models to paint to not kind of exhaust you guys on the same model over and over like the same type of model over and over again like last week was orcs so i didn't want to do orcs again this week so that's why i did this guy um so there'll be more like a couple things in between the orcs because we are repainting an entire orc army so 
there's a few more orcs that we haven't shown yet on this channel that we need to paint. Um, obviously we're not batch painting a million models at, a, at once. Uh, if I do decide to do that, that's usually on stream. Um, so make sure you hit that notification bell uh, to get the notice when I'm streaming. But, but that might not even work either because sometimes I stream on Twitch instead of YouTube because I can't. I used to know how to stream on YouTube, but then they changed it and then I forgot how to do it. So we'll see. I have a stream up already. You have It's already on. Um, on there for us painting some orcs in there. Oh no, night hunt orcs, orcs. I'm just painting orcs for a little bit. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And that, I think that has all the info for my stream on Twitch if you want to see that. Um, but it's not often, so don't feel like you have to do anything to that. <laughs> I'm always gonna get the hand that's in here and this hand bit as well as the joint that's right over there over here okay make sure we're not having any white spots show up, which it looks pretty good so far. Okay, now we get switched to our black paint. Just regular black. If I have some, yes I do. Okay, I was like, where is it? Let me get this guy in here to see kind of what we did, just to make sure that all the steps are in line here. Okay. Then we just get our black paint in. And so you can, I don't know if you can see it, if it's picking it up on camera, but how much different of a color there is there between the two pieces. careful around all the spots that we've already painted because this is our darkest color so we don't want this all going crazy over this whole model here okay, and then stabilize it on the table a little bit and then just use the edge of my brush to get around everything. chest cannons painted as well. So again, we're just balancing it on the table so that it's stable and we're not shaking all over the place when we're trying to get this. And then we get the front here. And these are always kind of difficult because it's inset, and if your brush is weird, it'll get some weird catch a weird angle or something. But here we go. And we're on the table a little bit. We kind of hit this guy, so let's just hit that real quick. Okay, so that's for the base coat of everything. But 
what would a mech be without being weathered and look like it's actually been in a fight? So to do that, kind of have to make sure everything's pretty dry, which I think we might be in a good, okay spot, especially the, the contrast is definitely dry. It is hot in this house today. So let's get our dry brush and we will get our uh, ghost gray color. And we'll do a initial dry brush over parts of it. So just kind of take to the model and give it some dry brushing, some streaks. It shows up really well on the darker color here, but it also shows up here on the, the red as well. So just give it some hits here. And this is like a quick, easy way to add some more detail to your models. It's just by dry brushing and just hitting it with the dry brush and going through and hitting all those high spots with your, your brush. I think that might be too much, but let's see. So just like getting there, getting there, get all those edges and same thing on the gun, we can get some of the spots here. We got too much black on there because it was still a little wet. It's okay though. Get these little high spots here and there. The canisters, the shoulder pads, like things that would be getting hit a lot because it's just like walking through like cities and crashing into buildings and crashing into other mechs. Okay, so we got some initial dry brush on there now. Now, since it is a giant robot, it's made out of metal. So we'll take our gun metal color, which I already have some on my palette, and we'll use that for the secondary dry brush. Now usually this would be lighter in our first one, but metallic tends to show up pretty pretty well on these guys. Just and you can get those like high metal spots and Get the, get the tip of the barrel too with this. Cause that's how we're gonna get that like burn mark on it later. Just by giving it this middle wash here. So let's get some more in here, make sure we got it, all right. Get the back really good, the legs, the feet especially. The feet would probably be the most messed up thing. Okay. Now for the burn marks, we get this brassy brass color. Ooh, just kind of. And we want to do a little dry brush of that as well onto the gun barrel. And 
And then what we do is we take some blue wash, Dragonhoff Nightshade, and some purple wash, Juchi Violet. And then we kind of just pull it back onto the, the model. So Dragonhoff would be the first one. It goes, usually goes like this, this color, and then it'll go a bluish color to a purplish color, and then back to the a metallic rim on the thing. So just bear with me for a second. Go here, go here. And we'll take a little drop of the original gunmetal color. And just kind of get the rim of the the gun with it. And just because it filled the inside there, we're gonna fill it with black. Cool. And then all we have left now are the little lenses, which are this Escorpina gray and some white. I mean, es Escorpina green, sorry. And some white to get the little jeweling kind of thing on there. So first we just do a first coat with the green onto the canopy. Just try your best not to hit the spots, but you know we're going to. Okay. We're a little runny, so we want to get it out there. And we'll just put it on the top there. And while it's wet, we'll get some white. And then just kind of blend it into like a side of the model, a side of the canopy here. give like that glassy shine. And that is how we paint our Warmaster. As always, thanks for watching. New videos every Wednesday. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.